Yat e she Aaron Sinigini yin she Twinin a stizident na she Kia ani nishle Tlizislana bushes chin Tedish gizni E dash a che Bim patoni dash a nella Me was just Wanting to get off the reservation and get away When I was a kid I had uh, Some cousins that were really talented Calf roping, team roping And uh They got married and had kids at a real young age and that put a hold on their career and even I'll even say it to this day they were more talented than I was and you know so that's always that's always scared me that's always scared me since I was a since I was young I always told myself I'm not gonna have kids and I'm not gonna get married I'm gonna go to the NFR first we're trying to win I started to realize how much talent we have as Navajo. So I said, if I, I only rope 20 steers every other day, so if I can do ha work half as hard as the rest of the world is, I think we can hang with these guys. So that's why I started to to come into this deal. And I didn't really didn't I didn't have the resources at that time to come home and run 15 steers. I had one pickup. I had a little little trailer. And uh, you know, didn't have much. And I always thought that you have to have a lot of money to do this, to become a professional cowboy and be successful at it. And that's the way I always looked at it. So I thought, you know, this is only a sport for rich white kids that got their way paved for them. And that's the way I always thought. And that, even to this day, that's the way kids think. And but I took what I had and I started gathering little piece by piece, little. Uh, you, two or three practice horses, steers, and little by little I kept working at it and everything started everything started coming together for me. They all been roping for a long time. Get it up. Yeah, watch James around the corner. Wow. I knew we were gonna get it today. I just didn't know when. Talk to the former champs in the world. You always have to have a goal. If you don't have no goal, you don't go nowhere. And I don't, I don't care who you are or what you say, and as you can be as educated as you want, but if you don't have a goal, there ain't nothing to it. So how this started was a dream and a goal. And then after I accomplished that, you know, the, my first goal was, my only goal since I was a kid was to make the NFR one time. So after that year, I got to thinking, now what, you know? What am I supposed to do now? This is what I worked for my whole life. And so I said, all right, well, we've done it, so let's try to win a championship. And then that came, and then I was like, all right, what else? And ever since then, it's always been, let's just go back to the NFR. Let's go back to the NFR. And I missed it two times, and now, I'm ready to go back. I've had the best start I ever had out of all my years of rodeo, and I'm, I think I'm fourth in the world. And I'm ready to go back, and I'm gonna try to win a championship. If I don't, no big deal. But that's my goal right now, is to go back and try to win another one. That's the only thing, that, that's the only thing that's driving me right now. I value it because, to me, this was unre all of it was unreachable. Being a Native American kid coming from Tuba City, just growing up that young, you ain't never heard of anybody doing it. And to finally achieve it and live it and be, be around those cowboys that you always admired growing up, I would have never thought I would be, have their cell numbers in my phone and talking to them on a regular basis. Wouldn't, you know, even just that. That's what makes it great to me, and to be able to rope with some of the guys I mentored. I, I roped with every one of my heroes I always dreamed of roping with since I've been a little kid. And being able to see my grandma and how much it makes her happy, and that's, that's why I value it. That's where all the value to me comes from.